you so much for welcoming us into your home oh, you're welcome, <laughs> and Janelle. for making time for us. <laughs> and welcome to uh, Southern California. Thank you. You know, not a lot of people um, know that you're here. Um, when did you leave the Philippines? I left the Philippines in 2005. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we moved to Michigan kasi doon talaga born and raised yung asawa ko and he was in school at that time. And when you left, you were at the height of your career. Oh, yes. Why did you yeah. leave? <laughs> yeah, for the sake of love. <laughs> in love ka ba talaga noon? Or... Oh, oh and, and besides, you know, I, I guess I was in my mid-30s already and by that time, I think I've grown more mature already and I've found out that you can always go back to working. And ako naman hindi attached sa kung ano man yung meron ako because I know na as long as I have enough to live, okay na sa akin yun. Hindi ako mahirap, hindi ako mahirap uh, kasama or I'm not hard to please. I can live very simply. Kasi galing din naman kami sa hirap. So alam ko kung ano yung Tama lang. But, you know, it, once you've had a taste of stardom, you were very recognizable in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. People were seeking you, whether na iinis sila sa role mo mm -hmm. because of the contrabida roles mm -hmm. or whether they lauded you as an actress. Um, it's hard. To, some people find it hard to turn their backs on that mm -hmm. fame mm -hmm. and the perks that mm -hmm. come along with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how did you adjust? Um, I think... The major thing that really helped me were two things. The way my mom brought me up. Nung nag artista ako, she would always tell me, don't let that get into your head. Lahat yung mga screaming fans, lahat yan temporary. Isipin mo nagtatrabaho ka, yun lang. You're just a worker. It just so happened ng pag artista ang trabaho mo at marami nakakapansin sa'yo. But just treat it as a job. And pangalawa, pinalaki rin kami ng mama na uh, wag masyadong pala utos. Kaya kahit noong may PA ako sa Pilipinas, hindi ako laging utos ng utos. So I think that really helped me uh, adjusting life here in America na you have to just do everything by yourself. Pati pagkakarpentero, pagkapapaplumbing. <laughs> yeah, you, you yeah. learn a lot. Yeah. O, o pag yeah. handyman, handywoman ka na rin, yes, di ba? But, yes. um, what were the difficulties in adjusting? First is, it was difficult for me to consistently speak in English. <laughs> that was mean. Totoo, yes. <laughs> uh, ayun, parang hindi ako sanay na hindi ako nakakarinig ng Tagalog because the area... Uh, we moved into was predominantly white. Yeah. Oh. And hindi ako madalas nakakarinig ng Tagalog. Right. And at that time, hindi rin ako nag-subscribe sa mga Filipino channels mm -hmm. or Filipino cables. And so, what helped me was social social media. Friendster pa noon. <laughs> Right. Oh, iba, iba, iba pa ang, ano, ang social media noon na yun. Um, but I was able to communicate in Tagalog ah, sa, friends, sa mga friends, friends and family. family. Right. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. um, whether artista o hindi, we've mm -hmm. interviewed a lot. Mm -hmm. Like ikaw, artista ka from the Philippines, you had to turn your back on that. You had to start a different career mm -hmm. away from your family. Yeah. Like, And we see a pattern of the different kinds of struggles. Mm -hmm. What were yours? Um, and eat. Filipino food. <laughs> Kasi yes. sa Michigan, hindi naman ganun karami ang Filipino stores. Uh -oh. yes. so, Especially in Michigan. How long were you there for? Um, three years. I hope your husband appreciates, huh? Mm -hmm. what do, you, do you guys talk about it? I, I, think, I think he does. I think he does. He, he appreciates the fact that I left everything because I wanted to prioritize our marriage. Mm -hmm. That was one of the reasons also why I did not pursue acting. It was not in my, my mindset to go out to America and be an actor. Yes. Ang inisip ko talaga, I'm going to look for a different job 
because if I was living in Michigan and we just got married, I had to be with him. I can't start my marriage going to New York or Los Angeles and leave my husband in Michigan. I like that. And I'm having goosebumps because <laughs> we do get a lot of inspiring interviews and I'm happy that we're doing this interview because I know that a lot of people will be inspired mm -hmm. because seeing you from the outside as this very successful actress mm -hmm. or was this successful actress in the Philippines, you don't think that the, people don't think that you think this way and that you did these things. Mm -hmm. When we return on the show, I want us to talk about your life now. Mm -hmm. You know, Princess as the nurse, mm -hmm. as a mom, as a wife, as a family woman. And uh, thank you for being candid with us. <laughs> we'll have more when we return, don't go away. In the first five minutes, six minutes uh, that we've been talking to you and I'm sure the viewers will agree, we've already picked up a lot of words of wisdom from you. You know, what you what you value in life, what should be prioritized in life. Where do you get that depth from? Because when we see you na contra vida, um, sa mga roles mo, and when we see you naman na kikay kikay and fun sa mga interviews and outside of your roles, we don't see this side of you. Marami akong pinagdaanan. I have gone through so much but the thing is not everyone who goes through pain will come out of it um, learning yes the nuggets of wisdom that came along mm -hmm. uh, with your experience because some people choose to look a different way um, but I guess again because of my mom na malalim siyang tao and growing up hearing her give advice to people helped me uh, find direction and besides that I have a deep relationship with God that it I mean it's it's nothing religious or anything it's just something personal that I draw strength from him if you have this uh, a, a decision and you have to choose one or the other how do you make a choice which one is more important which one is more lasting so I guess that really helped me a lot na after making the wrong choices in my life before <laughs> medyo natuto na ako parang clink. right yeah so na parang ah totoo nga totoo nga so I, I really have to do this one you've mentioned your mom a few times already mm -hmm. and uh, we all love her I grew up also watching mm -hmm. her um, and the pieces of advice that she's given people um, how is that helping you now that you're a mom to your five-year-old. Mm. Oh, it's so funny because I hear her voice inside my head when I speak the words that she used to tell me. Oh, right, right, right. Like, um, uh, yung pagka may hinahanap yung bata, mm -mm. parang oh. gamitin mo yung mata mo. Look with your eyes. <laughs> When you're trying to look for something, use your eyes, not your mouth. Right, right. Yung parang, at saka yung, ang aga-aga, iniinis mo ako, ha? Right, right. Yung mga ganun. But, um, there's so many things that um, she has taught me na just stuck with me. Iba talaga din dito eh. Mm -hmm. What's the one thing that you realize that you can impart to people about life in America? Unang una, never ever compare yourself with others. Each of us have our own unique journey. Kung it's so unfair kung ikukumpara mo yung katawan mo sa katawan ng isang ibang tao, lalo na kung mas bata sa'yo. <laughs> Hindi mo pwede i-compare yung ilong mo sa ilong ng ibang tao. True. Hindi mo pwede i-compare ang sweldo mo sa sweldo ng ibang tao. You don't know what they're going through. And it makes life so much stressful na nga ang buhay. And then, dagdagan mo pa ng, if you compare yourself with others, 
you're putting so much pressure on yourself na hindi naman kailangan eh. Mm-hmm. Just learn to appreciate who you are. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Especially here. Yes. Kasi diba parang, um, parang it's a race. Mm-hmm. Na parang, ay, ito kasabay ko lang itong lumipat ng Amerika. She, mm-hmm. Meron ng bahay. Naku, mm-hmm. bakit ako mm-hmm. ganun? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not important. We've heard it before and it's true. Uh, coming to America is a humbling experience. Um, princess, for somebody like you, mas saludo pa ako kasi you come from, you know, peak, kumbaga. For some people, nasa pedestal ka yung mga artista from the Philippines, mm-hmm. moving here. You turned your back on that, we've discussed that. But why nursing? Um, when I was in high school, I wanted to become a doctor. Pero... Hindi ganun kalakas ang loob ko na ipaglaban na gusto kong mag-medicine after high school. Sabi ng mama ko, you're artistic. Take up interior design. Okay. So, mabait na bata. Sumunod sa nanay. Nag-interior design ako. Tinapos ko with honors, etc. Tapos, hindi ko ginamit ni Minsan. <laughs> Sayang naman. Four years ba? Uh, it took me three, three years. Three yeah, years? Yeah. Wow. Okay. And then? So, wala. Sumunod lang kasi ako, pero hindi naman talaga yun ang passion ko. Iba yung may passion ka dahil minsan kahit walang masyadong pera, walang magandang sweldo, pero yun talaga yung gusto mong gawin. At masaya. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And so now you're able to kind of pursue that in a way yes, as a yes, nurse. Yes. But now as a nurse, you know, there's different kinds. There's baby nurses, neonatal, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. merong yung mga cosmetic Diba? Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Which I hear is very lucrative mm-hmm. and very easy. Yeah. But you also chose quite a different, like a more challenging area mm-mm, of mm-mm. nursing, which mm-mm. is hospice mm-mm. nursing. Yes, Why? Yes. Um, well, I'm comfortable with death because I know for a fact that life has a beginning, it has an end. And as a hospice nurse, I would like to help people have a comfortable ending. Yeah, and I'm not squeamish about death. Dahil alam pong darating naman talaga sa buhay yan eh. And um, I've seen a lot of people nearing death na with so much fear and anxiety. I don't know, but I think I have that gift that I am, I'm able to console people and I'm able to make people more comfortable and be grateful for what is still there. Um, help people realize the nicer things about life. Right. And so now, I, I, and I really reserve this for last, um, Princess as an actress. Mm-hmm. Congratulations on the successful movie, Yellow Rose. Thank and you're you. a big part of that. Um, after that, kumbaga parang nabuksan yung hope in the hearts of your followers na maybe she'll get back into acting. Yes, I am definitely going back into acting. Um, kasi I used to think that in order to act, I have to go back to the Philippines every so often. Um, but since now that my daughter is going to school, I can't be gone for so long. So I'm glad that the Lord is opening up doors for me here in Los Angeles here in America, um, so I can do what I really love to do. Mm-hmm. And with that said, um, what would be uh, maybe a parting piece of advice to our viewers that you can share, especially those that are struggling, yung sa immigrant life, because okay. it's not easy. You mentioned earlier, don't compare your journey mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. others. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else that you can, kumbaga parang parting words or mm-hmm. even an encouraging word? One thing is learn to widen your horizon. Wag kang, don't just look in your situation na kawawa naman ako, hirap na hirap ako, and wag masyado mag, mag dwell. Yes, yes, yes. Wag mag dwell dun sa pain at saka 
difficulty na pinagdadaanan mo, try to be grateful for what you do have. Mas maganda kung gumaglista ka. I'm thankful kasi ganito, kasi ganyan, kasi ganyan. Huwag masyadong tingnan yung negative sa buhay. Because in life, there will always be negative stuff. But what pulls you up is when you're grateful for the things that you do have. And surround yourself with people who are positive. Depressed ka na nga. Tapos lahat ng mga kaibigan mo at kausap mo, puro depressing pa. O ba din maghihilahan na lang kayo pababa? But if you have other friends who are more positive, who have words of wisdom to share, um, people who are more strong in their faith, then pwede kang mahatak pa akyat. And with that said, to end this interview, what are you grateful for? I am grateful for the love that's all around me right now. I'm grateful for all my experiences because I've learned so much from them. I'm grateful for the way my mom raised us. I'm grateful for the good-hearted people around me, the good-hearted people I meet every day. And um, I'm grateful for, for my family. Thank you so much for opening your home and your heart to us today. More power to you and God bless your journey. Thank you. Thank you, Janelle.